Hi, this is Ajay Anand, and welcome to Science Classes from Excelup.com. In this lesson, you will be learning about organic compounds. You will learn about carbon, then about covalent bond, hydrocarbon. and you will learn about homologous series carbon is very important because carbon is the fourth most abundant substance in the universe and carbon is the 15th most abundant substance in earth's crust in fact if you will look around you most of the substance of your daily usage they have carbon in them as an important component so be it your notebook pencil the food you eat the cloth you wear all of them they are made from carbon during initial phase of study of compounds of carbon all the compounds of carbon they could be resourced only from the living beings and that is why the compounds of carbon were named as organic compounds even today when synthesis of many organic compound has become possible the convention is still holding on and we still call them organic compounds the atomic number of carbon is 6 and its electronic configuration is 2 and 4 which means there are two electrons in the inner most shell and there are four electrons in the outermost shell so valence electrons in carbon are four now carbon can make bonds with other elements or other atom of carbon by either giving up an elec- uh, four electrons or gaining four electrons but transfer of four electrons will involve too much energy which is not possible under practical circumstances so carbon makes bond by sharing of electron and when a bond is formed because of sharing of electron it is called a covalent bond so here are some examples of covalent bonds uh, this example is of hydrogen molecule hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell so hydrogen can share its one electron with another atom of hydrogen so that both of them uh, they can have two electrons in their outermost shell which is equal to the nearest noble gas that is helium and by doing so hydrogen bonds with another atom of hydrogen to make a hydrogen molecule that is h2 in this case there is a sharing of one pair of electrons so this bond is called a single bond some other examples of compounds with single bond are methane that is ch4 ethane that is c2h6 this example is of oxygen molecule oxygen has six electrons in its outermost shell so it, it needs two electrons to make an octet so oxygen shares two electrons with another atom of oxygen and by doing so both of them they complete octet in their outermost shell and thus oxygen molecule that is o2 is formed another example of a compound with double bondage ethene that is c2h4 this example is of nitrogen molecule nitrogen has 5 electrons in its outermost shell 
So, it shares three electrons with another atom of nitrogen and they end up making a nitrogen molecule. So, another example of a compound with triple bond is C2H2 that is ethyne. So, in case of single bond, one pair of electrons are involved in a bond. In case of double bond, two pairs of electrons are involved in the bond and in case of triple bond, three pairs of electrons are involved in the bond. Some salient features of covalent compounds are small intermolecular forces. So, there is a small intermolecular force between the molecules of covalent compounds. The covalent bonds, they are weaker than ionic bond because there is no charge involved in the bond. Moreover, covalent compounds, they have low boiling and melting point because of the weaker force of attraction between the molecules. Now, let us move on to hydrocarbon. Uh, the compounds which contain hydrogen and carbon, they are called hydrocarbon. There are two types of hydrocarbon. Uh, one is called saturated hydrocarbon and another is called unsaturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbon is also known as alkane and there are two types of unsaturated hydrocarbons namely alkene and alkyne. The general formula of alkane is CnH2n plus 2 where n stands for the number of atoms of carbon. Some examples of alkane are methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane and this is in sequence of number of mole, uh, molecules, uh, so number of atoms of carbon. So, for one atom it is methane, for two atoms it is ethane, for three propane, for four butane, five pentane. The general formula of alkene H, CnH2n. And examples are ethene, propene, butene, pentene. The general formula for alkyne H, CnH2n minus 2. And examples are ethyne, propyne, uh, butyne and pentyne. Uh, here are some uh, structure formulae of hydrocarbons. So, the first row it is showing alkanes uh, CH4 that is uh, methane C2H6, ethane C3H8 that is propane. What is important to notice is that all the bonds in these compounds they are single bonds and because all are single bonds so that is why these are saturated hydrocarbons. In this case these are uh, alkene, ethene, then uh, propene and butene. So, you will notice that at least one bond is a double bond here. Okay? And because of a double bond, this is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. These are ethyne. So, here you will notice the presence of triple bonds. So, this is ethyne. Um, this is propyne and this is butyne. Cyclic hydrocarbons. So, till now uh, I have discussed about the structure in which carbon makes a linear chain. But sometimes some uh, in some compounds carbon makes a ring also. So, an organic compound with a ring of carbon is called cyclic hydrocarbon. So, for let us take this example, this is pentane. So, this is having a linear chain. This is also a pentane, but here instead of linear chain, what we get is a circle or a ring of carbon atoms. So, this becomes cyclopentane. What is important to notice is that pentane is having 12 atoms of hydrogen, while cyclopentane is having 10 atoms of hydrogen because of formation of ring. Uh, there is no need of two more hydrogen atoms. This is hexane. So, this is the linear chain and this is a ring. So, the one with ring is called cyclohexane. Now, till now, 
all the bonds they are single bonds but in this case this is C6H6 this this is C6H12 and this is C6H14 so in this case what you will notice is that alternate bonds in the carbon uh, ring they are double bonds so double bond is here there is a single bond followed by double bond single double single okay so this is called benzene C6H6 there are many other ways of uh, writing or depicting the structural formula of benzene so you can do it in this way in this way and also in these two ways functional group uh, what happens that one atom of hydrogen it can be replaced by a functional group to make another class of compound and the functional groups are alcohol that is OH uh, aldehyde is CHO carboxylic acid is COOH and ketone is CO the compounds with alcohol functional group they are named by putting a suffix ol ol at the end of the name aldehydes they are named by putting a suffix al carboxylic acids they are named as by putting a suffix oic acid and ketone they need a suffix of one okay so what happens the compound ch3oh that is methyl alcohol that is the common name the IUPAC name becomes methanol the oil uh, suffix has been added here in case of this compound HCHO the name becomes methanol the common name is formaldehyde in this case HCOOH the IUPAC name becomes methanoic acid and the common name is formic acid in this case the IUPAC name becomes propanone, propanone and the common name is dimethyl ketone. Uh, functional group, it governs the chemical uh, properties of organic compounds. So, all the compounds with similar functional group, they show similar chemical properties and they make homologous series. The compounds with same generic formula and same functional group they make a homologous series each subsequent member of a homologous series differs by ch2 that is they differ by 14 atomic unit the atomic mass or mass number of hydrogen is 1 and that of carbon is 12 so for ch2 the total comes to 12 plus 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 14 atomic unit and that is the reason the each subsequent member differs by 14 atomic unit so you can uh, calculate it yourself so find the difference between uh, say uh, methane and ethane it will be 14 AU the difference between um, ethane and propane it will be 14 the, the difference between propane and butane will be 14 okay they show the members of a homologous series so same same chemical properties but they show some difference in physical properties uh, which differ because of the increment of uh, atomic mass in subsequent compounds so to sum up i talked about some important features of carbon as an element then i talked about covalent bonds I talked about hydrocarbons, then I talked about the functional groups and homologous series. That's all for this lesson. Thank you.